how to uninstall application in Mac. If you're using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac, the steps are going to be same. Now, in order to uninstall any application, you can go in Finder option, which you can find in Dock. Once you open Finder, you need to select application on the sidebar and on the right side, you will be able to see all the application which you have installed. Now, let's say, for example, if I want to uninstall this Vigi app, I'm going to select it and then I'm going to press Command plus Delete on my keyboard to uninstall it or else after selecting you can simply click and drag it to bin and in this way you can simply uninstall the app now there is one important step which you need to keep in mind that it will uninstall the application but uh, some of the system files will be still in your mac so in that case all you uh, all you can do is you can just simply open the search bar over here and you can search for that application so you can see i have searched for vg app now it is showing me the app icon. You can directly drag it from here to bin to uninstall it. But the important step is once you search for the application, you need to select this plus icon over here. It will show two options. Uh, in the first one, you need to select system files over here. And in the second one, you need to select are included. So the included system files with this particular application will pop up over here. So now you can simply press command plus A to select all the system files and the application and then you can press command plus delete to uninstall or else you can click and drag it to the bin like this it will ask you uh, to enter the passcode or the password for your user you can enter the password and then you can simply press ok now you can see the application has been uninstalled so if i go at the bottom you can see it is gone even if i search for vg now you can see it is not showing so we have successfully uninstalled the application from Mac. So these are the simple steps you need to follow to uninstall the application in your particular Mac. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.